Hello. In this movie, we're going to be reviewing the color map uh, utility of Checkmate. And in this utility, we're going to be taking some scan data and uh, importing a color map onto our CAD model. And then we're going to take it a step further and, and extract specific XYZ surface point data uh, from that color map. So if you look over my uh, explorer here, I've got this file, opxyz whole part dot text. And that's just a simple scan file. It's, it's even unaligned, which I'll show you in just a second. But if I bring this up and open it, you can see it's just a bunch of XYZ scan data, just reams and reams and reams of it. So we're going to import this uh, in as a color map. So I'm just going to get these out of the way. And just to show you that the scan data is unaligned, I'm just going to load in the scan data in its raw state here and there's the file opxyz whole part dot text and this only takes a second to load in I'm just loading in uh, a sample of the file and here it is and let me just fit to the screen and you can see we have a whole mess of data over here on the side and this is all the scan data so it's definitely unaligned uh, it's not on the part so let me just go in and erase this we don't need this anymore I just wanted to show this to you now if we bring our part back up so we're going to go into our color map utility and the first thing I'm going to do is just bring up a few default settings here and show you a couple of things um, of course be the scan data is uh, completely unaligned to the part so we're going to use a freeform uh, automatic alignment so the scan data will be automatically aligned uh, best fit to the CAD geometry uh, and the other thing that we're going to do is we have a program here with some specific XYZ points um, that we've selected and you can see this off to the right and what we're going to do is we're actually going to extract those at the same time while the color map loads. So there's a little selection box here that says create reporting entities and we're just going to turn that on. So I'm going to say OK here. This is about all we need. I've set some uh, tolerance, uh, approximate tolerance up for the color map up at the top. We're just going to say OK and we're going to load in the scan file. Here's the, uh, the file we're going to load in, and I'll just select open, and it's going to load in the color map. Now that the color map has been loaded, we can go and create ourselves a nice little legend showing the colors and the appropriate deviations that go with those. Now, when we loaded in the color map, something else happened this program that we have and I'm just going to rotate the part so you can see the program and we'll zoom in a little bit and for all of these surface points that we had programmed and I'm just going to hide them while the color map came in we got these reporting entities these little sticks so we now have information uh, from the color map of the XYZ and profiles for this part. So what I did ahead of time, I created some label templates and these label templates simply contain the nominal information. So I'm just going to square those up so we can see them nice in the view here. These contain the nominal XYZ information uh, generated from when I created the program. So now we can use the information created for the color map to fill in any kind of specific XYZ locations. And I'm just going to fill these labels. There we go. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Well, uh, you may need, need to report on specific XYZ locations for your customer, but more specifically, uh, you could scan multiple parts. So if you had to do an SPC study, uh, how are you going to do SPC on specific 
XYZ location. So you can uh, determine which points you want to do SPC on. You can scan multiple parts, and now you can do uh, statistics on specific locations. So there's a lot of applications for being able to actually extract specific uh, points from the color map.